Hey guys, it's Nathan from Nikon here, back today with another package, and today we're going to be unboxing the Nikon Z6 II. So the Z6 II and the Z7 II are, as the name suggests, the second iteration to the well-loved Z6 and Z7 mirrorless cameras from Nikon. The Z6 II is scheduled to launch on November 5th, and the Z7 II is scheduled to launch on December 10th, 2020. This is my first time seeing this as a full production unit, so I'm really excited to dive into this box and see what's inside. This camera feels nearly identical to my Z7 or Z6 does in my hands here. Very ergonomically friendly with all the buttons in nearly identical places. Now, although the camera feels very familiar, the grip is actually slightly deeper on the Z6 II and the Z7 II. And the reason for that is if I flip this open on the side here, we have dual card slots. One XQD card slot compatible with CF Express and one UHS-2 SD card slot as well. This dual card slot arrangement might be familiar to anybody who uses a D850 right now, that same kind of primary secondary card slot arrangement. And this is really exciting because this now means that we can shoot with photo overflow as well as photo backup. Another related feature to these dual card slots is the improved buffer and frame rate in both cameras. Wow, that right there is the sound of 14 frames per second in the Nikon Z6 II with an improved buffer of 124 shots. That's nearly three and a half times larger than what it was on the Nikon Z6, as well as being two frames faster. Now, the Nikon Z7 II also has a frame rate increase and shoots at 10 frames per second, and has an improved buffer of 77 shots. And this is really cool because a lot of people now are what are called hybrid shooters, meaning they shoot both stills and video. The great thing about Nikon mirrorless cameras is that you can rapid fire raw files like that and then switch right over to video without having to worry about any buffer delay at all. I can see how this really opens up the possibilities for people that shoot sports, wildlife, or weddings. Really people that would utilize that higher buffer and faster frame rate. Now, there is a reworking of the brains inside this camera to make that faster buffer and frame rate possible. Or should I say the addition of a brain? Nikon and all their recent camera releases have used a single X-Speed 6 processor, whether it's in the D6, the D780, the Z6, the Z7, the Z5, all those cameras have used a single X-Speed 6 engine. In the Z6 II and the Z7 II, there is actually dual X-Speed 6 processor that powers the camera. And this dual X-Speed 6 engine is gonna help with that improved buffer and faster frame rate, but also is gonna lend to improved autofocus and improved low light performance as well. On the back here, we have that same really solid tilting LCD screen. Now, the screen is the same, but there is a new feature that will automatically switch the display to the LCD screen when you flip it out, which is just an added new bonus to the usability of these two cameras. On the bottom here, the battery door, both the Z6 II and the Z7 II use the new ENL 15C battery, which was introduced to the Nikon family with the release of the Z5. So now you're going to be getting 340 shots through the viewfinder on the Z6 II and 360 shots through the viewfinder on the Z7 II. There is now also support for a newly designed vertical grip for both the Z6 II and the Z7 II. Previously, the Z6 and the Z7 had support for an external battery pack, the MBN 10. However, the MBN 10 did not have an AF on button, shutter release button, or command dial. The newly designed MBN 11 has all of these controls included on it and is supported by the Z6 II and the Z7 II. For me, some of the takeaways of the Z6 II and the Z7 II is that Nikon has really broadened the possibilities and capabilities of their mirrorless system. The previous generations of these cameras have performed quite well and I have loved using my personal Z7 from the day that I bought it. I'm really excited because Nikon has just taken these cameras and improved them in every way possible with all the things that we just talked about. Whether it's dual card slots, dual X-Speed 6, improved buffer, improved frame rate, improved low light performance, improved autofocus, support for a new vertical grip, and more. 
I'm really excited to see what photographers are able to do with all this new raw potential. So with that said, my name is Nathan and I'll see you in the next video.